Jim Crow Lives in Dresden. That was the title of an article in this Maclean's magazine that I found in the archives during my first year working at Uncle Tom's Cabin Historic Site here in Dresden, Ontario. Now that was over 30 years ago, at a time when most students in the education system here in Ontario weren't taught about the achievements of black Canadians and the struggle for equality of people of African descent. People like Hugh Burnett, a black Canadian who was sent off to World War II to serve his country, but who returned here to Dresden and was refused service of a cup of coffee. This was during the time of the Jim Crow laws, separate bathrooms, separate water fountains, separate schools. Jim Crow laws were state and local laws passed at different periods throughout the United States to enforce racial segregation and limit the power of black voters. But segregation existed here in Canada as well. Hugh Burnett would become a leading force in the National Unity Association, an organization of blacks from Dresden, Buxton and Chatham who fought discrimination in employment, housing and public accommodation. Their efforts resulted in the passage of the Fair Employment Practices Act of 1951 and the Fair Accommodation Practices Act of 1954, which outlawed discrimination based on race, creed, color, nationality, or place of origin. When you visit Uncle Tom's Cabin Historic Site, you'll have to make a stop in downtown Dresden, not just for the quaint shops and small town warm welcome you'll receive, but also to stop by the Hugh Burnett and National Unity Association plaque. It was erected in the gardens at the front of the Czech Hall in 2010 by the Ontario Heritage Trust. I invite you to explore our website to learn more about pioneers for freedom like Hugh Burnett and how they contributed to a more fair and just Canadian society. And we look forward to hosting you again soon at Uncle Tom's Cabin Historic Site.